channel i am muhammad nasib tukhar and this is yet another video of developmental biology series and of the sub series in which we are studying the cellular basis of morphogenesis in the earlier lecture we described what is morphogenesis and what is the role of differential cell affinity in morphogenesis the link is in the description the link of the playlist so you can uh, utilize that link to get to that playlist and watch that a video on differential cell affinity as well if you want to so today's lecture is on the thermodynamic model of cell interactions or what we can say is that we are going to study the physics of morphogenesis in other words we can say that we are going to study the differential adhesion hypothesis by malcolm steinberg by now we have we are aware of the fact that cells do not organize randomly in our bodies cell do not sort randomly and the other fact that we know is that cell can actively move to create tissues organization we have seen that the cells of three germ layers they move with respect to each other during morphogenesis to explain the cause of this to explain the forces that direct these cell movements during morphogenesis in 1964 malcolm steinberg proposed the differential adhesion hypothesis and this uh, this model explains or tries to explain the patterns of cell sorting based on thermodynamic principles what steinberg did was that he took or he used the cells derived from the trypsinized embryonic tissue trypsinized the embryonic tissue that has been Uh, a sub a substrate of that or that has been exposed to or that has been uh, treated with trypsin enzyme so steinberg showed that certain cell types migrate centrally when combined with some cell type but migrate peripherally when combined with other cell types and such interactions thus form a hierarchy let's say that if the final position of a cell a type a is internal to cell type b and the final position of cell b cell type is internal to c cell type it means that a will always position itself internal to c in simpler words if a is internal to b and b is internal to c then a will always be internal to c and this is what uh, diagrammatically it is represented in the textbook so if a is internal to b and b is internal to c then a will always sort itself internal to c when it is combined with the c type of cells so steinberg in order to demonstrate it he took pigmented retina cells that migrate internally to neural retina cells and he took heart cells that migrate internally to pigmented retina cells the heart cells i am revising that again pigmented retina cells migrate internally to neural retina cells and heart cells migrate internally to pigmented retina cells it means heart cells would be the inter innermost and then there would be the pigmented retina cells and then there will be the neural retina cells so this observation led steinberg to propose that cells interact as to form a aggregate with small smallest possible interfacial free energy in other words term free energy is a term of thermodynamics so cells form an aggregate with smallest interfacial free energy in other words the cells rearrange themselves in the most thermodynamically stable pattern if cell type a and b have different strength of adhesion and if cell type if the strength of aa connection is greater than the strength of ab connections or bb connections sorting will occur with a types becoming central because aa bond is stronger than ab bond or bb bond so a will form bond with a thus it will move to the central region however if the strength of aa connection is less than or equal to the strength of ab connection then the aggregate will remain as a random mix of uh, mix of cell it is because a loves to get attached to a as much as it loves to get attached to b thus the random aggregate will remain random aggregate mix or random aggregate or mix of cell however if a loves to make a connection with a or in technical term we can say that aa connection is thermodynamically more stable than ab connection then a will move 
centrally and form connection with A cells, other A cells. Finally, if strength of A connection is far greater than the strength of AB connection, or in other words, if A and B cells show essentially no adhesivity towards each other, then what will happen that A and B cells will form separate aggregates. They are not going to form aggregates at all. And according to this hypothesis, the early embryo can be viewed as existing in equilibrium state until some change in adhesive properties of cells plasma membrane change. Earlier, there is kind of aggregate of cells and that aggregate of cell is some kind of equilibrium state and then some changes occur in the adhesive properties of cell plasma membrane and those changes those changes cause all those moments the moments that result seek to restore that seek to restore that thermodynamically most stable position or we can say they seek a new equilibrium configuration all that is what is required for sorting to occur is that cell types differ in strength of their adhesion and different differential adhesion is caused by changes in the amount of the cell surface molecule in several meticulous experiments using numerous cell types researchers have showed that those cell types that had greater surface cohesion migrated centrally compared to the cells that had less surface tension let us uh, see it in the diagram here we have we uh, are seeing that this limb bud it has a surface tension of 20.19 per centimeter and this pigmented epithelium has surface tension of 12.69 per centimeter and then heart cells have surface tension of 8.59 per centimeter and so here liver cells and then here we have the neural retina cells and we can see that these cells are going to arrange themselves in the similar fashion the cells with the highest surface tension are internal here green one or the limb bud is internal to the pigmented epithelium red one and here the yellow one has lower tension uh, lower surface tension to be exact it is external uh, and the red one is internal to yellow and similar in semi similar fashion this blue one which further lower surface tension is external to this yellow one and then the similar way this orange one this neural retina which the least of these uh, this uh, least surface tension among these is external to this uh, liver cells which have slightly higher surface tension so the more the surface tension the internal the cells are present the more internal moments the cells show or when two cells are combined then the cells that has a greater surface tension they move towards the center or they move internally in other words in simplest form this model says that all cell could have the same type of glue on cell surface as the uh, only the amount of this glue or the cellular architecture that allows such substances to be differentially distributed across the surface this is what creates a difference in the number of stable contacts between different cell types and this is what causes the cells to move with respect to each other and in more specific version of this model the thermodynamic differences could be caused by different type of adhesion molecules which we are going to study in the upcoming lectures so when holt when the studies by holt fretter were revisited during uh, using the modern techniques davis and colleagues 1997 found that the tissue surface tensions of individual germ layers were precisely those that were required for sorting patterns that were observed both in vitro and in vivo so this is how from the physical point of view from the point of view of physics this morphogenesis process occurs and this is how based on the physical processes physical uh, aspects such as surface tension cells migrate with respect to each other and this was all about this lecture in the upcoming lecture in the next lecture we are going to see adherence and their role in cell adhesion so i hope that you found this lecture helpful and for whatever the purpose you are watching this lecture to add more or less able to get the desired content and with appreciable qual in appreciable quality please like this video 
and subscribe to this channel in order to get the latest updates just when they are uploaded. See you in the next lecture. Thank you so much.